Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Today's People versus Thomas Styron. Here we go. on behalf of Mr. Styron, who stands to my left. Well, let's talk to the judge about that. Right. We've been through this. Seems to be some confusion. What's the confusion? I stated multiple times on the record that I wish to represent myself. Well, I thought we got rid of that issue the last. Yeah, I, I thought so too. I spoke to this gentleman right here and expressed my wish to represent myself as well. All right. Well, if he doesn't want you, I mean, I'm, we'll, we'll figure that out in a moment. So, Mr. Siren, we're going to go through this again. What do we want to do in this case? You understand what you charged with, sir? So, I understand what the charges are against me, yeah. Okay, again, look, you're going to have to give me straightforward answers to my questions because I've got to make sure that you understand certain things. I got to do certain things here. Well, my you understand, first of all, that if you do be direct, you want to smile about it and laugh about it, take him back. We'll call him out later. Take him back. You keep laughing. You laugh one more time, that's 30 days. Go contempt. Look it up. You may need an attorney. Your fault. First calls the case of the people versus tyrants. Recall. I'm com you're compelling me to, to identify as Thomas York Steyer? The, the legal entity on this case? I believe that you are. Do you understand the nature of the charge, sir? I don't understand how <laughs> the name you have on the case and, and who I am, it's two different people. Defendant, as he was leaving the courtroom the last time, the court did find the defendant in contempt, sentenced him to 30 days. The defendant will serve that sentence. The court will sign the judgment of sentence regarding the contempt. I don't understand how, how that's possible. Like I said, uh, I'm so first of all, watch your language. Sure you're treating me as if I'm the trustee, or I don't want to partake in any trust fraud or anything like that. Is this a sessed QVA trust matter? Involved in this? Is my social security number attached to this at all? Go we'll figure. Mr. Styron, or whoever you wish to be addressed as, I'd suggest that you watch yourself because there's going to be more time coming. You keep it up. You will learn, you will learn how to conduct yourself appropriately in these proceedings in this courtroom and before me. You will not in any manner whatsoever disrespect You're trying to tell me to be somebody I'm not. Or this institution. You have no evidence. It will you not to prove that I'm who you say I am. You will not talk to me in that fashion. In, in what fashion? I'm not the one being unethical. Very good. You'll serve the 30 days. We'll see. You can go right there. We're having it. Court does call the case of people of the state of Michigan versus Thomas Styron. The second. Good afternoon, Your Honor. I'm you on behalf of the club. Sir, state your name, please. I'm George Styron, the second. All right. This date time set for preliminary examination. Mr. Styron, you are here representing yourself. I would indicate to you that there are three charges on the complaint in this case. The first charge is that of fleeing a police officer under the motor vehicle code in the third degree. That is a felony punishable by up to five years and a $1,000 fine plus court cost. Count two on the complaint alleges assaulting, resisting, and obstructing a police officer. That is a felony punishable or a high court misdemeanor punishable by up to two years incarceration and or a $2,000 fine plus court cost. 
Count three is a charge of driving while license suspended, denied, and or revoked. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail and or $500 fine plus court cost. The subject matter of this preliminary examination is for the people to establish by probable cause that the felonies have been committed. If the people do establish that, then what the you would be what's called bound over to stand trial in the circuit court. You are here appearing without counsel. I would advise you that if you wish to represent or be represented by counsel, you can let the court know, and the court would make sure that counsel would be available to you to in this proceeding. I would also indicate that if you are desirous of continuing to represent yourself, you certainly have an absolute constitutional right to do so. You will be held to the same standard that attorneys are held to regarding the court rules, regarding uh, the presentation of evidence and anything else along those lines, as well as questioning of the witnesses. Do you understand all of that, sir? I understand everything. Pardon? I don't understand everything. Okay. And, sir, do you still wish to proceed unrepresented? Very good. Do you have any questions before we begin the preliminary examination? I do. I haven't had a chance to, to look at the body cam and the evidence. Uh, I just got a kite back yesterday telling me I could ask the new staff to, to be able to view this. I've got maybe 45 minutes or an hour's worth of time in it so far. I'm able to get through the first day. 45 minutes, an hour into what? To, I think there's 16 videos on, on, the, on the thumb drive. I think Officer Hooks is an hour and 15 minutes long in itself. So what I'm saying is I've had insufficient time evidence to even review it to be able to articulate excuse your honor i understand that the apa that was present before me had intended to admit that some of the body camera i will not be using any of it today i'll be proceeding with just sergeant house testimony um i guess the and i understand that misuse and i guess the only question would be if whether or not something contained on the body cam might lead to evidence that the defendant either would want to present or lead to evidence that the defendant may wish to question the deputy on. Um, and I'm going to have no way of knowing that. Um, I appreciate that, Your Honor, especially because uh, my office previously put on the record, and I'll reiterate today, we do plan on adding additional charges, a count of felonious assault, which assault with, with a dangerous weapon against the sergeant, and two counts of felony firearm, which are mandatory two years in prison. So, Your Honor, I don't have a problem if we need to adjourn this room to have more time with the video. Okay. All right. And under those circumstances, and I forgot, I think you had mentioned that before, that um, with that, um, okay. So, Mr. Styron, you're requesting an adjournment of the proceedings so you can get through that. Is that okay? Um, how far, and I guess I was unclear, you were you, you have access to the body cam? Yes, I do. It's in my property. Okay. And, but then you were talking about you got through some of it? The first video and, and I believe it's a YouTube, not YouTube, but a Facebook video of, of a bystander. Say, say that again. For a Facebook video that somebody took. Okay. And, and part of his body, maybe 20 minutes, half hours worth. When you're saying his, you're saying, yeah, I get that. Officer Hoops, yes. Okay. And I believe his, his body cam footage is a, an hour and 15 minutes in its totality. So I've barely been able to scratch the surface of that. Okay. Let me ask you. Go ahead. Were you going to say something else on that? And. and like I said, I believe there's 16, 15 or 16 videos in their total. Maybe, maybe more, and that's just what I was able to see. Okay. So let me ask you this. How how are you arranging to view that video? Because so originally I was kiting everybody I could. I was correctional services, this sergeant, that sergeant. And finally, um, while down in correctional services, I was able to speak with Sergeant Flint. Okay. And he was able to arrange this first meeting. And like I said, I, I got a kite back from him yesterday, yesterday telling me just to, to bother the noon staff and they'll arrange it during the, the noon, noon shift. So 
Gotcha. Previous, prior to yesterday, I, I didn't. I was still asking. I guess I was asking the wrong ship. I was asking later in the day. That that's for certain. And I really was never able to get anything else arranged as far as being able to go and feel it. Okay, so you were trying to do it one way. That wasn't happening. You finally got to Flint, and he indicated to you that it's a noon staff you're supposed to bother to yeah. try to. Okay. Flint's definitely provided direction in regards to how I can go about getting this. All right. Okay. So we'll need to then adjourn that. Um, have you. Well, I'm going to ask it one or two ways. How long do you think it would take you to get through it? I mean, it, is it your, and I won't hold you directly to it, but I mean, would you be able to do it in one day if you had access to it? Or is it going to take you a few days or just your best guesses? Because you know how long the clips are. I don't have any idea by so, design. I only have knowledge of how long his particular video is, Officer Hoops. I don't, I don't the other ones I, I haven't looked at, viewed, can't remember how big the file is, nothing like that. If I was out in the world, I could probably have this done within a week at my house. I have my own computer and I planned on originally being able to do this. Um, um, also, it depends on the jail. They've been so short staffed, we've been locked down a lot as well. So, it depends on what their staffing numbers is during it. When I'm asking or trying to arrange this, it, there, there's so many variables. It'd be hard for me to give you a... No, no, that's that's fair. That's fair. And then also... But you don't know total... You don't know total time how much there is. Right. You just know that one. Since, since May, I've been fighting an illness that just recently they had the, the, the jails addressed uh so yeah, it, there's so many things going on I, i've been since since may i've been ha having um, stomach issues bowel issues and you know, on friday or saturday i was urinating blood finally i was able to get some some uh, the medical staff to, to do something with that as far as me urinating the cup and then give me some type of antibiotics but all they can tell me is I have an infection. They just don't know specifically what type of infection. So I'm also dealing with that, and, and it's like being very lethargic and, and okay, I got you. energy in that. What do we do? that as well? What do we look like on the six? Okay, so that we hopefully won't run into this again. You've gotten all of the discovery. Pardon me. You got all of the. The discovery, as as like you me. got the, as far as you know, you got the police report. Right. You have all of that. It's the video. All right. So what I will do is I will adjourn the uh, preliminary examination in this matter. Um, I would go to the thirtieth, but I think I'll go to August sixth. Two thousand twenty-four at one. I'm going to set it at one p.m. We'll just push everything else out of the way, and that way we'll be in here. So that'll give you three weeks to try to get through that. Now, if you, if there are issues like what you've been you're talking about, short staff, whatever, and you haven't been able to get through everything. Um, talk to one of the deputies so that they can get in contact with my office so that if we have to push it out another week, we can just get that done without you coming up here telling me you're not ready. You know, you Fair enough. Okay. Got a question in regards to, is, is there any reason why that would be preferred instead of me being able to address what I got going on internally and at a hospital or outside in the world? I guess me being uh, put on bond so I can Take care of my illness as well as look at this uh, discovery and handle that. So it's probably done in a more timely manner. There's less variables, variables involved. John, I'm not available before then anyway, so I'm, I'm very happy to come back in three weeks once he's had the opportunity to review it in the jail. And yes, as your honor is well aware, 
if this gentleman's ailments were to the level that he needed to be hospitalized, the jail hospitalize him. Additionally, the jail would notify their chain of command if there were any needs that exceed the jail's current ability to assist him. I've received no communication from the jail to that effect, which tells me it's not happening, meaning that the jail is the appropriate place for him. Also, Your Honor, I will, as the court knows, the defendant is in custody without bond uh, for the defendant's demeanor in this courtroom. At the time that my office charged this case, we requested a $50,000 cash charity bond. This is a person who, while possessing a firearm, threatened to cook the sergeant, which is one of the reasons that I'm planning for the information against him. Additionally, Your Honor, this case originally came in as a domestic violence call, and Sergeant Help took the opportunity to try to protect the community by proceeding after this defendant in a manner to not only protect one individual woman, but to protect our community. And it resulted in this person possessing a firearm and not only threatening the sergeant, but threatening the sergeant's dog as well. I'll rebuttal that is when I said cook, I made it very clear. Said so meant legally in courts, which he uh, iterated on his body cam. So, according to the body cam video, he is fully aware that I meant legally through the court process. And also, I believe in the police report, you sit there for a welfare check with a possible rolling domestic, which led me being pulled over, me being a single person in my van, not two people, which would be involved in domestic, I imagine. And then once pulled over, pretty sure he knew I was looking for just based on my. Based on who was looking up in his uh, talent or, or whatever it is they use in the police cruiser. Make sure they uh, plan to use the legal system to uh, address any uh, transgressions or trespasses I felt was made against me. All right. Um, sorry, go your, ahead. Um, also, I was the one who stayed on top of the, these charges. I'm the one who called the court every day, stayed on top of this case, and I'm the one who arranged the, the court date with Ms. Fink. I was the one who stayed, who called the courts week after week, and they didn't have my case in, and finally they did. I was very proactive in trying to get this addressed through the court system. I had no intention of running or trying to avoid it at all. And I think my actions were not sued such. Okay. Um in this matter, I, I'm i not going to, at this point, change your mind, Mr. Stern, and I'll just put it to you this way. I don't know the facts of the case. By design, I don't. So I'm going to certainly, I hear the allegations, I hear your response to the allegations, and at some point I'll see the evidence. Um, in terms of um, what I had previously heard in regard to this case, I would consider your actions on that date at least... Um, as I understand them to be at this time, that you pose a significant risk um, to the public and to public safety by your conduct that day. Okay, I mean, I'm not sure about the comments. We'll deal with that. Um, further, um, as the prosecutor indicated, your demeanor in the courtroom prior to today um, leads the court to question whether or not releasing you, I could trust you to do what I ask you to do. Um, this is the first time today, as we were talking to each other going through the things, that it's been a civil conversation with you to try to resolve the things. All I'm trying to do is get the case through. I don't know why the other days you made a determination to try to act a particular way to the court because I'm just, like I said, I'm just here trying to get the case heard and get everything done. And so I, I have, based upon what I hear regarding the case, what I also have seen in terms of your demeanor in the courtroom, um, I have great reluctance in terms of doing that. What I will tell you is this. Is, is that I certainly will address, so I'm going to deny your request to the extent it was a request to change your bond in this case at this time. Um, certainly, um, hopefully we'll be able to go forth on the 6th, and I certainly will 
relook at everything on the six and you could raise the issue again. But I want you to understand that part of it is because of what the allegations here are. And I'm not saying you're guilty of them. I'm not saying any of that. But in terms of the allegations and what could be and is from this court's perspective, um, a situation where you may pose a risk to the community, but also a lot of it is of your own doing in terms of your what happened here. Okay. And so all of that I have to take into and can take into consideration. But like I said, in fairness to you on the six, because today was 180 degrees from before. And so I will now factor that in. And on the 6th, certainly, I will take a look at anything you just raised again before the court. Okay? And and I would agree, just real quick, and I'll let you, I would agree with what Ms. Hughes has said, and that is, is that if your medical were to an extent, our jail is excellent. I, I have to say the sheriff's office is extraordinary in making sure that people get the medical care that they need. But certainly you would have to apprise them of that. And I think maybe you have, and they will make sure that you're taken care of. I just don't have a doubt in my mind and have never had an issue with an inmate getting the, the care that they need. So, all right. Two, uh, two things. Um, four times we've been adjourned because I asked to represent myself. I don't believe my demeanor uh, played any roles in that. I thought it was because there was some misunderstanding as far as the courts are trying to represent myself. Oh no. And then in regards to the medical thing, I reported this in May. That took until I got blood in July before anything was ever uh, followed up on or done. Okay. I suggest that you send another request regarding the medical issue. And Mr. Steyer and I would also suggest to you it never is an issue I've had two others come through representing themselves that is never an issue with me because you have a right to do that yeah and i'm just gonna let you know that is not the reason you need to go back and you need to look at what you were doing in this courtroom or this court for reasons i don't even mr siren understand so i'm not here to debate that with you i'm just telling you that's where it was. What I was saying was, uh, maybe, maybe I was misunderstood, that when we went to proceed with the court proceedings, there was some misunderstanding in regards to uh, the public defender's office representing me versus me representing myself. And since there was that misunderstanding, it was adjourned, uh, I believe, four, four times over those matters. It wasn't because uh, I was acted out right. I believe I came and went so fast. It wasn't even obvious. No, there were a couple of adjournments because of that. But um, but that was because you needed there was assistance you needed in regard to what we were dealing with at a particular given moment. And then, and so that's where the PD was standing in. But no, it was your behavior on the date that I revoked your bond. And then the other dates were trying to make sure of that. And I was, I'll just be honest with you, Mr. Tyron, I was, I wanted to make sure that you truly wanted to represent yourself and that your rights were protected with having the PD here. And until I was clear on that, I wasn't going to let things proceed because, well, I'll just put it to you bluntly. You got a hot head sometimes. And I wanted to make sure you weren't making that decision just because and not fully understanding what this was, because these are serious charges and there are potentially more that are coming. That that's my whole thing on that. Okay. I appreciate it. All right. One last question, if if we're about to be done. In order to get a hold of your office, 
I can use the channel of the jail, not the mail system, because I don't I don't have envelopes to pass information or anything. That I can. The jail is my channel that I go through to, to contact you and, and inform you of certain things, be it whether it's documents or... or I'm not. Well... Or in regards to me need more time. I think you would have to send some type of communication, written communication to my office. I don't think there's a direct line, and I'm not even sure how that works, because I usually don't have inmates contacting my chambers directly um sometimes they will mail things which seems to me to not be it do you oh there he is so he'll figure that out he'll let you know how to get a communication up to my office right. okay yeah. and not whether or not i can do anything about it i don't know so when that happens so that you understand this Tyron. Whatever you send to me that I'm going to review needs to also go to the other side. But yeah. what I will do to try to make things easier, if this is okay with the people, is that once it comes to me, I will make sure that whatever you're sending to me, they're going to get a copy. That works. Thank you. All right. I'm close to a dollar and I have no money in my account. So it'd be, it'd be very burdensome to try and buy envelopes to some um, um, everybody. They're a dollar? Seriously? I got about five hundred dollars in back. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> why? No, I'm just saying. If I can sell it for a dollar, I'll just take the whole box down. Oh, anyway, okay. So we we sorted that out. Make sure to get with them. They'll get. They'll make sure it gets up to us. Perfect. Thank okay, you. Mr. Syrah. I appreciate you behaving yourself this way. Because just listen, because you're coming in hot like you did before, I'm just going to let you know, with me or any other judge, that's a battle you're going to lose every time. <laughs> I can appreciate that. And my only response to that is I've never had, uh, never had that happen. All the other judges I've ever had in front of whether Chuck or Ms. Bing. Miss me, Miss Fink, that was able to have a conversation after the the court time. She's she nicer. Out. She's nicer than I am. She's a very nice woman, that's for sure. And she she's, able to she's much nicer than I am, like I and so day. she she has patience. Sometimes I don't. Fair enough. So you got to take it as it is. All right. Thank you. You do the same. Thank you.